Well, hello, gentlemen, and I'm well into the beer tonight. But that's okay, because I don't have to get up for work tomorrow, but I'll probably be up early anyway. God, I hate that. Now, I don't really mention these things on the internet, but this time I will. And you can blame it on the drink if you want. But there was a court case going on in the United States of Kim Potter. You know, that policewoman that drew the wrong gun. She thought she drew the taser, but it was a real gun, and she pulled the trigger and killed the young man. I mean, obviously it was a tragic mistake. But the defense tried to argue that it was a young man's fault because he <laughs> was a bad guy. Yeah, right. You're a bad guy. Bang. I don't think so. That's not how it works. But you've got to ask yourself the question, at least I have, do femons work the same as men under pressure like that? Because she obviously was under pressure and was panicking. Because there's a big difference between a stun gun and a real gun. The trigger's in a different place for starters. When you handle the stun gun, you know the difference. But she obviously didn't. And if any guy's been married to a femon or had a long-term girlfriend or whatever, they know they can get panicked quite a lot. And it's because of their emotions. But I guess the jury's in now and they found her guilty on all charges. Very devastating for her. But a young man has lost his life. And there's no other way of looking at it that she is responsible. Because she's obviously had the same training the men have. But this is unusual because usually with a Sephemon they get let off quite easy, don't they? It will be interesting to see what they give her as a sentence. The thing is, if Femons want to play in the big leagues, then there are consequences when you fuck up. And for far too long, the courts have been lenient on Femons, even when they've committed the same crime as a man. Anyway, hey guys, you remember those days when we thought that Femons cared for us, loved us, and thought we were good men and had good personalities and were funny? Well, Femons are not really interested in that at all. They're interested in what we can give them, how much money we have. Femons of today don't seem to have any feelings at all, which is pawns. Their children's are pawns as well. And their so-called husbands, boyfriends. And probably their friends are pawns as well. It's like a goddamn chess game. Except Femons aren't really very good at chess. Or snooker. I wonder why. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this Kim Potter's trial thing. But I'm just wondering if she happened to be a very slim, fit-looking young woman. A policewoman, that is. Would that be different, I wonder? Hmm. Anyway, take it easy.